Hello everyone. This is one of our really, really cool PLC projects done with four of my senior students. So without further ado, I want to pass it to them so they introduce themselves and show you this great elevator uh, demo. Go ahead. Hi, my name is Dash Laley. Uh, my name is Owen Dyer. I'm James Kosiancic. My name is Noah Chepandola. So this is our elevator PLC project. Um, essentially, we decided to model something you'd see in a typical building. So we have all the buttons going to different floors, um, and we also have lights telling what floor we're at. So right now, the elevator car is at floor one. Um, the, uh, the physical and mechanical design of the doors is uh, 3D printed, and we have um, linear servos working with those as well. Um, and from the PLC, we actually control that to, uh, with a microcontroller. So we send five volt signals and um, it actuates. So these doors will open. When we press, when we press the button, um, it'll go to that floor. Door will open for a few seconds and then it'll close. And then it also has a queue system to, uh, to uh, say what, what floors to go to. Okay. We also utilize the HMI. Um, the HMI ha is uh, simulating the inside of the elevator, elevator car. Um, so that's what someone would typically see. We have all the floors, the buttons there, and then we have an open and close option. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the demo and then we go to the back and see the brain. So as we can see, the elevator car is on floor one because of the light. If we press the button, it'll open the doors and inside it shows our names designed by us. Um, it'll stay open for a second and then we can go to the next floor. So we can press floor two. And this is an up and down option on floor two. Floor three and floor one are only uh, down and up because the, you know there are no more floors beyond that. Okay. And then we can set a queue. So it just finished there. We can go to floor three and then pr press floor one and it'll do its thing at floor three and then go to floor one as well. And then we can also set the queue um, from the inside and you can see the floor number is changing on the HMI. We can pre press floor two and it'll go there afterwards. So here on the back side of the PLC project, we have our actual PLC with the communication unit and the power supply. Off to the right here, we have our motor driver and a power supply that is separate from our um, PLC power supply because it requires too many amps. And then up here we have our microcontroller to actually our uh, doors. And up here we have our HMI unit, which is connected to our PLC. Okay, thank you all. This was one of my coolest PLC demo units. Hopefully you enjoyed.